Well, now at five, we are discovering more about a Florida House Democratic candidate accused of lying about her record. So we first told you about this yesterday. Elizabeth McCarthy is accused of lying about being a doctor at Orlando Regional Medical Center. She says she even helped victims the night of Pulse. The hospital has no record of her. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden is in our newsroom now. And Lewis, today you looked into her, her education. What did you find out? Well, Lisa, the more we dig, the more we find. Just within the last couple of hours, we found out the Florida school she claims to have attended has no record of her. And the Florida Department of Health says she has never had a professional license of any kind. Elizabeth McCarthy is seen here in a white lab coat, but her claims of being an emergency room doctor are unraveling. In an email to News 6, the Florida Department of Health confirmed that Catherine Elizabeth McCarthy has never been issued a license by the Florida Department of Health. According to the DOH, McCarthy applied for a license to be a certified nursing assistant in 2005, but the application was never completed. McCarthy also wrote on her LinkedIn page that she has a bachelor's of criminology from Florida State University and had a basketball scholarship for two years. But it appears that's false, too. News 6 checked and McCarthy did not attend the school or participate in sports. A spokesperson wrote in an email, we have no verification that she participated as a student athlete. Yet McCarthy was introduced as an emergency room doctor by Representative Darren Soto at a town hall meeting back in March. Next, we have Dr. Elizabeth McCarthy. Thank you for being here uh, to discuss also a very sensitive uh, topic. At that meeting, McCarthy told the crowd that she operated on victims the night of the Pulse attack. That night of Pulse, I personally removed 77 bullets from 32 people. McCarthy is running for the Florida House District 28, but as her lies have become evident, many are calling for her to bow out of the race. District 49 Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith, who is also openly gay, told News 6 in a message that Elizabeth must withdraw her campaign, work on making herself better, and strive towards making amends with the people and the community she misled. Yesterday, McCarthy told News 6 she would release a statement in a couple of days. I tried to contact her a few times today, but did not get a return call. Matt and Lisa. Lewis, thank you.